Would you like to know how to compress your data gathering within six minutes for the LCA? Hi, my name is Dr. Erwin Kwan. I help doctors lead a happier and more fulfilling life. In this video, I'm going to give you three tips to help you to compress your data gathering within six minutes. This is a common problem that many GP registrars encounter when they're dwelling too long on data gathering. Tip number one is to avoid asking permission to ask questions to patients. There are a lot of registrars who actually are not that confident and what they tend to do is they ask questions to ask permission about asking further questions. If you're consulting a patient, the latter expects to be asked questions, so you don't have to ask permission to ask questions. Unless if you're asking sensitive questions, then by all means signpost your question. But you don't have to ask permission to ask questions each time in the consultation because otherwise it's eating your time in data gathering. So make sure that if you have a question that you'd like to ask the patient, just go ahead and ask this question that will save you time from having to ask permission to ask questions. Tip number two is to avoid excessive use of summarizing. If you're summarizing excessively, then what you're doing is that you're wasting your time because you don't get marks for summarizing for the RCA. Summarizing once is good, but if you're doing that too often, then you're becoming repetitive and you're wasting your time that could be best used in clinical management. So this is why you're probably dwelling on data gathering. So make sure that if you're summarizing too much to avoid doing that. Tip number three is to keep your explanation simple. If you're going to explain to a patient about doing a rectal examination, the prostate examination, keep it simple. Some registrars have observed are oh, taking a long time to explain about this examination and by doing so they're using a lot of time that could be better spent in other parts of the consultation. Let me give you a working example. You're consulting a patient who presents with urinary frequency and you think that this patient would benefit from an examination of the prostate. How are you going to explain to this patient that you'd like to offer a prostate examination. So you'd say to the patient, it's important for us to examine your prostate. Do you know what the prostate is? The prostate is an organ that sits underneath the bladder. And it's helpful for us to have a feel of your prostate. And the way that this is done is to do an internal examination, which is a rectal examination to have a feel of your prostate. We usually have this examination done in the surgery, in the presence of a chaperone, if you're willing to have it done. Would you be willing for us to arrange an examination of your prostate today, Mr. Smith? This is how you explain an examination without having to go in much more detail or over explaining it. So let's recap the three ways to help you to compress data gathering within six minutes for the LC. First thing is to avoid asking permission to ask questions. The second thing is to avoid over-summarizing, excessive use of summary is going to eat your time. The last but not least is to keep your explanation simple. Don't over-explain something. Just make sure that the explanation is simple so that you're not spending too much time on it. If you found this video useful, I've got two videos I want you to watch. The first one is RCA case on tiredness. We discuss how to assess and manage a patient presenting with tiredness. The other video is on assessing headache. This is a common presentation that we encounter in general practice. Click on the right if you want to watch the video on tiredness and click on the left if you want to watch the video on headache. As always, make sure that you subscribe if you're not already subscribed and turn on notification bell. Take care everybody, bye bye.